It is that tower. I think that, one, that tower is abandoned. I think that tower has the unarmored trainer in it that, tower, that can train you to 100 unarmored if you want. Yeah, that's the tower with the beasties in it. There's some nice stuff. We're not going in here, but I'm just going to check. Yeah, that's the tower with the... It's got some really nice stuff in there. Really nice uh, items. You can you can loot them for quite a lot. I was just... Just going to start walking there, so my fatigue... There we go. I'll just dispose of you. Would restore. Let's, uh, let's see what we look like. Walk. Right, then put that away. There we go. Oh, there's another rat. Let's kill that. It's just going to attack us, so we might as well be ready for it. Oh, it's diseased! No matter. Okay, there's the netch. That one attack us. And here's the tomb. This is the one we wanted. Now, this one's slightly more difficult than the last one. We're, uh, we're going to give it a good go. I'm going to actually save before I go in here. Okay, there's a bone walker there, but I don't think they're too bad. Try and take it out with an arrow first. Well, just damage it a little bit. It's not a greater bone walker, so I'm not too worried. There we go. Oh no, he's not dead yet. Ooh, cell gem. Nice. So we're going to take a little bit of time in this tomb. There's another one. But great, greater bone walkers actually damage your fatigue. Which makes them very nasty indeed. I mean, these guys aren't too bad at all. Well, there's lots of them. Loads of them. What's that actually doing to me? Let's have a look. It's, uh... See, it's just... It's reducing my uh, endurance and strength by a very minor amount. So these really aren't that much of an issue at all. It's when you get to the... Oh, I've leveled! I don't think I'm going to find any uh, beds in here though. That's something else to do as well. I'm just seeing this scroll over here, so I'm just going to go and have a look at what that is. Frost damage. Yeah, I love that. Since I'm slightly lacking with the uh, magical prowess, and there's also a potion there for dispel. I'll bother with that. I think there's another. Yep. Do intelligence? No, I can't bother with that. I'll never use it. What about this one? Yeah, that would be nice. Very restorative. Okay, guys. Don't want to lose too much health to you guys. Maybe I should have used the bow a little bit more. All these urns have bone meal in them. Uh, command creature. That could actually be pretty good in Command Humanoid. Right, now this is where... I'm not going to bother with that. Let's take these. This is where we're going to have to do some lock picking. Now I do have the open door spell, which is like 65% chance of doing it. Grand. Okay, and now telekinesis once again. Let's open it. Both those doors, doors go into the same, uh, same area. Right, there's a skeleton there. I'm going to use my Jink Blade now. Rule number one, do not forget the Jinx Blade. Don't know why he ran over there. Oh, sweet. Well, actually, that's not so good. Where have you gone? Why, why are you trying to get in that way? 
Oh, suddenly I'm a really good archer. Oh. Ow. Okay, 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 okay. That's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. Right, now I need not to suck so much at there. That. Phew. When he's got magical arrows, magical arrows, magical arrows. Ooh, 45 of them. Very nice indeed. And I also can restock my iron, and iron arrows as well. And this is where we find... This. Corpse of Pop G. And he has... The Ring of Finaster, which is what I wanted, which is Poison, Magic and Shock. So I've got 20% Magicka resistance now. Which took a while to get, but there we go. So I'm just going to use um, Divine Intervention, hopefully. 61% chance casting. We should end up at Wolverine Hall. No, where am I? Oh. Okay, I thought since I was there, I would end up there. But it seems that I'm here, which is fine. Because between here and Caldera, there is the Boots of Blinding Speed, which is what we want to get. So I need to rest. I need to get a room somewhere. I can rest in the wilderness, though, can I? Can I? Yeah, I just need to um, go a little bit further. I can rest and heal up and level. A little bit further. A little bit further. Rest until healed. Let's rest at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's uh, realistic. Okay. There we go. Level 7. Not too many skill points there, I'm a bit disappointed with that, but actually I won't bother upgrading speed because it's pointless. I'm gonna have a speed of 253 soon. And the um the boots of speed are also light armor. Which is good. I really wouldn't mind. Right, so I just have to head this direction and we should find her. It wasn't really specified whether because there are two ways to get the boots of blinding speed. You can either do it via a quest. Or you can just kill the person who has it. Because I wasted time in that other uh, in that other tomb where I, I just got that useless ring. Well, it's not useless. It's actually pretty good, but for the purposes of this quest, it's useless. I'm just going to kill her to save a bit of time. Wow. Epic archery skills. One more. Okay. So we should come across some uh, grassy plains soon. Maybe just across here. No, this is still barren. Further south you go. Oh. Further south you go, the, the more lush the game seems to get. There are exceptions, but generally speaking, the south of the island of Vardenfell is uh, is the more lush and green. Oh, come on. Oh, fine. I can't get up that way. Could have used levitation, but that would just drain precious, precious magicka. 